The name octopus is, of course, derived from ancient Greek meaning eight feet, which is in reference to the cephalopod's eight arms. But these animals haven't always had this name. Prior to their classification, they had other common names such as polypus, meaning many feet, and even devilfish. Back then, the term octopus had a completely different definition as well. It was applied to common folk who possessed only two oxen and a cart they pulled. This was likely in reference to the oxen's eight feet, supposing the person rode in the cart. Another, now obsolete, term to describe not just an octopus, but also squid and cuttlefish is preak. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, this word was first used in 1611 to describe these various types of similar-looking cephalopods. Octopuses as a whole... wait, do we have to discuss the plural of octopus here? There are three commonly accepted ways to pluralize octopus. One, octopuses. Two, octopodes. Three, octopi. In most scientific discourse, either octopuses or octopodes is used. Technically speaking, octopi came before octopuses, but octopuses tends to be the preferred term in English writing. Octopuses as a whole are generally split into two groups based on how they look. There are the octopuses with fins, such as the Dumbo octopus, and those without, such as the giant Pacific octopus. Technically, finned octopuses also have a small internal shell that's not present in the other group. Most of us are at least somewhat aware of these two octopus distinctions, those with fins and those without. But there are some other octopus oddities less commonly discussed. One example is the telescope octopus, named so for its long, stalked eyes. They're sort of like snail eyes. Another octopus oddity is the seven-armed octopus. Technically, the species has eight arms. However, the males tuck one of their arms up into their blobby, gelatinous body, which makes it difficult to observe. This species is also known as the blob octopus. There's even an octopus called the football octopus with a swim bladder. A swim bladder is an organ most commonly associated with fish that helps them with buoyancy. It works the same in the football octopus, in which females of the species release gas from the bladder to sink. However, scientists still don't know how the female octopus females produce this gas. Speaking of football, the black and white kind, not the brown oblong kind, there was a common octopus named Paul who had some seriously good luck at guessing the winners of upcoming matches. His streak of eight correct predictions and a success rate of over 85% earned him international fame before his death. With or without oracle abilities, octopuses are intelligent creatures. They must be provided mental stimulation in captivity, such as opening jars filled with treats. In one case, an octopus actually figured out how to open childproof containers to reach her prize inside. If they don't have this kind of enrichment, they can become depressed and sometimes eat their own arms. You've also probably heard that octopuses can change color and have three hearts, but if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full octopus episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.